Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is problem solving. We're going to find unknown lengths. Okay, this is lesson 710 in our textbook. So here's our common core strand and our, our question is how can we use the strategy guess, check, and revise to solve problems with fractions? Okay, so we're going to first guess, we're going to check, and then revise uh, if we don't get the right guess. Okay, so um, it's kind of hard at first you guys, but just you'll get the hang of it the more you practice. So i got a couple problems here and we're just going to guess check that guess and then uh, and then re-guess and they call it revise if we have to here so here's a problem Jack wants to build a rectangular garden for his beanstalk he wants the area to be three-fourths of a square yard now remember area of a rectangle is length times width so we're gonna multiply length times width and we're gonna try to get three-fourths and we're gonna guess lengths okay and he wants the width to be one-third the length right here so We'll guess what the length is, and then we'll take a third of that to get the width, and then we'll multiply length times width, and we want to get it to be three-fourths. So what are the dimensions of the garden going to be? Okay, so they want us to ask answer a series of questions here. So what do we need to find? Well, we need to find this last little piece right here, the dimensions of the garden right here, okay? And then so what information are we going to use? Well, the garden has an area of three-fourths square yards, and we also know that the width right here is going to be one-third of the length. So let's put that information in right there. And then how are we going to use this information? Okay, remember our essential question was we're going to guess. So we're going to first guess uh, the sides of the garden length. And then what we'll do is we'll check that answer. And then if our answer doesn't check out to be this three-fourths right here, then we'll re-guess, and they call it revise, and we'll revise if it's not a correct answer. So we can try different lengths and calculate the widths by finding a third of that length, because that's what it says it's a third. Remember, length times width equals area. So for each length and width, we'll find that area and compare it. And if the product is three-fourths, that's our answer, but if it's less than or greater than, then we'll re-guess or revise uh, to find the length and just try it again. Okay, so here they give us a table right here. So we'll plug in the length right here, and then we'll find a third of that length right here. And then the area is going to be whatever this one is times this one. That'll give us the area. And then uh, this will tell if it's if it's too big or too small to revise or not. Okay, let's slide that up. All right, so we want to find uh, we want to get an area of three fourths. So let's just guess, you guys. Let's guess. Uh, let's try three fourths. If it's too big, then we'll get to, we'll do a smaller air, uh, length right here. If it's too small, then we'll get a bigger length right here. Okay, so the width is one third this. So let's find a third of three fourths. So a third of three fourths. This three and this three they divide each other into threes. They three goes into three one. Once, three goes into this three once, so they cancel each other out. So we're left with one times one is one, one times four is four, so the width would be one fourth. So this area would be length times width. So length times width, three fourths times one fourth is uh, three sixteenths. Okay, remember when you multiply fractions, top times top bottom times bottom. Okay, now remember, we want to get an area of three-fourths. Well, three-fourths in terms of sixteenths, uh, four goes to four times four is sixteen, three times four is twelve, so three-fourths is the same as twelve-sixteenths. Okay, three-sixteenths is too small. We want it to be twelve-sixteenths. So let's try a longer length. So let's just pick a number, you know, something that's bigger than three-fourths. I tried two and a fourth right there. You could try two, you can try two and a half, you can try one and a half, Let's try two and a fourth and see how this works, you guys. Okay, let's convert this to a fraction. Two and a fourth is the same as nine fourths. This is eight fourths plus one fourth. Eight fourths plus one fourth is nine fourths. Okay, or we can do 4 times 2 is uh, 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, we get 9 fourths right there. All right, now we got to find a third of 9 fourths, okay, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 3 times, so then we just multiply 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 4 is 4, so this would be the width if, if 9 fourths was the length, okay, so length times width is going to be area, 9 fourths times 3 fourths, let's do that right over here, that's going to give us um, uh, 9 times 3 is 27, 4 times 4 is 16, 27 sixteenths, how does that compare to 12 sixteenths? It's too big, so we're going to try a shorter length right here, okay? Alright, so if this was too small and this was too big, 2 and a fourth was too big, Let's think of a number between three fourths and, and two and a fourth. Let's try like one and a half, okay? One and a half is the same as two halves plus one half, which is three halves. Okay, so then the width is one third of this, so let's do one third. 
of uh, three halves, so one third of three halves. This three goes into three once, it goes into this three once, so we'll cancel these to ones. And then we're left with uh, one times one is one, one times two is two. So here's the length right here, three halves. Here's the width, length times width will give us area. So hey, look, three times one is three, two times two is four. That's what we're trying to find out. We're trying to get that. So by guessing and checking, we found that the, the length is one and a half and the width would be a half, and they're in terms of yards. Okay, so let's answer the question. So the dimensions of Jack's garden for his beanstalk will be one and a half yards by a half a yard right there. Okay, all right, you get better at it the more you try. Let's try one more, you guys. Fred is building a rectangular pen for his pet, Dino. He wants the area to be 360 square feet, and the length of one of his sides is going to be one and three-fifths the length of the other side. What should the dimensions be? Okay, remember, length times width equals area. So let's go right into this table right here, okay? So one and three-fifths converts to eight-fifths right here, okay? Here's one, five-fifths, and then here's three-fifths. So five-fifths plus three-fifths is eight-fifths. All right, let's try length since we're doing eight-fifths of the length right here. Let's think of multiples of five so we can take fifths no problem okay so let's try like 10 you guys see how that works okay so 10 we got to do eight fifths of 10 and then whatever that is then we multiply it to, uh, length times whatever this is length times width will give us the area right here okay so eight fifths times 10 let's convert 10 to a fraction 10 over 1 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 10 twice, so we'll be left with 8 times 2, which is 16. So the area would be length times width, so 10 times 16 is 160. We want it to be 360, so this answer is too small. So let's try a longer length. Let's do another multiple of 5, because we got to do... Uh, eight fifths of times that. So let's try 20. Okay, so eight fifths of 20. Five goes into five once, five goes into 24 times. We'll be left with eight times four, which is 32. Okay, so now we got to get the area. 20 times 32. 20 times, I know 10 times 32 is 320, so 20 would be double that. So 640. Well, we want 360, so this is too big. So we got to do a number that's uh, less than 20 and a number that's bigger than 10. And let's do a multiple of 5. Let's try 15. See how that works. Okay, 8 fifths of 15. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 15 three times. 8 times 3 would be 24. Okay, so then we're going to multiply 15 length times width, 15 times 24. Uh, is going to give us 360, and that's what we're looking for right there. So let's go ahead and answer the question. So the dimensions of Dino's pen is going to be uh, 15 feet by 24 feet right here. So 15 by 24 right there, okay? All right. Okay, you guys, hey, if this uh, video was helpful, would you guys click like? And we just created a Facebook page. That would be cool if you could find that one too. Take care, you guys.